All right, I don't know why this uh, didn't take. I started a, a broadcast, but it didn't take, so I had to do upload. So this is an upload. Anyway, Monday, 6.30 p.m., uh, it's the 1.35 update. I just got moved to Vegas. They moved my truck back because I got the new DLC. So I got the new Washington DLC, the Forestry DLC, yada, yada, a bunch of other trucks. I just got something off the job market. I'm uh, starting in Las Vegas and going to Pendleton, Oregon. So an articulated trailer, Waldbert to Walbert. So I won't have far to go to pick this thing up. Here I am and starting off. It has been a long time since I've driven. 6.30 something p.m. What time is it? I've got my... Where's... I don't have... You know, I have my clock. There we go. 6.40 p.m. I like to have that on. This thing on a park there. Whoa, put my brake on. Because that's crazy. Alright, so just gonna, I guess just move out, right? Actually, I, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna let this thing roll back. Because again, here in Vegas, we're on this, this sort of dead end strip here. So I don't have to worry about, about traffic as I pull out of my, my spot here. So that's kind of where we're at. Sorry, I'm uh, uh, trying to get settled in my seat. So this is my Peterbilt. I've been driving in it for a while. It's a day tripper, so I'm gonna have to look for places to sleep, you know, like hotels that have space where it's not where it's not. Um, you know, I'm not sleeping in my truck. Here's a Walbert distribution center. We're going to pick up this articulated trailer, which I think looks like it's probably down at the end there. Because th these are the pickups in front. We'll see what this is about. Hello. Alright, here we are. Freight market. I want the... Yeah, here we go. Las Vegas to Pendleton. $42,000. I, I need 60000 to pay off all my loans. So that's why I'm going for this. So 40,000 pounds of furniture from this Walbert to the Walbert up there in Pendleton. That is a long drive, Volks. So uh, hopefully, I'm, I don't know if I'm able to finish this all this evening or not. Hey, guy. Getting out of here shouldn't be too bad. I'm on the end. I mean, it could be could be a little difficult, but not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's see here. Oops, I got my keyboards up a little too far. at this at an angle actually this might be the way to do it oh, okay, I'm bumping it a bit hold on there we go if I come in at this angle I might be able to latch it there we go Nice. So park. Step out. This is what we look like. Furniture in this thing. Twenty thousand pounds in each trailer. I don't know what the gross tonnage is, but we pack the furniture going from Vegas all the way up to Oregon, northern Oregon. So it's gonna be a drive. People, it is gonna be a drive. Show waybill. Show waybill. Showing current job information. Oh, I realize I'm going to need to sleep sooner than later. Oh, I was going to change my tires. Okay, when I get to Pendleton, I have to change my tires. Remind me of that. There's the furniture going to the Pendleton Walbert. Expected uh, 8 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday. It's about 48 hours from now. And uh, there it is. Uh, closed panel. Turning info panel off. All right, rolling out. Oh, I never hit the bar. Sorry. You can see it. Back there. All right, now I got power switched on and everything like that. We're all good to go. 
Okay, so I don't have to worry about the trailer next to me there. We've got plenty of room getting out. There's nobody in the bay next. To, well, I guess bay seven there's somebody, but <clears throat> yeah, to leave here I gotta take a right. Just gonna keep that in mind. I don't think we should have too much problem with the articulated trailer going up there. I was making sure we're not bringing it to an eddies. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure, at least at the time of this recording, that the family and I, yeah, we're good at going around this thing here, are turning right here, right? Yeah. Nobody coming that way, and there's no traffic in the other lane this way. Family are heading out to Las Vegas again here. This will be the third time I've been. The second time we've been. <clears throat> see, we're out there for Christmas. Not this last Christmas, the one before. To visit the brother-in-law. I think that's the plan, at least right now. We're going to go in Vegas in July. Which you think would just be disgustingly hot. But it's been the coldest... Coldest October to to March in either over 100 years or in on record. So it's not uh, it's not been typical weather. It's been very cold all year so far. So I don't know what it would be like. You think July and in Vegas would be awful, but we'll see. Yeah, this will be interesting. So this is, I mean, this is out, but like where my brother lives, he lives in Vegas and on the, you know, southwestern edge of it too. So this is kind of like slightly closer to downtown than where he's at, but um, but to scale, we're about where he would be. I mean, not to, you know, 20 miles per mile or whatever it is. But yeah, they model Vegas really well. This this really looks like Vegas. <clears throat> and we're in West Vegas right now, heading north. As you can see the sun's going down in the west there. And uh, we're ready to go. It'll be interesting though. Oh, of course, because I um, because it's been a long time since I've driven. Senior rates at the Four Jacks. Casino. Um, there we are. But yeah, it's been a while since I've driven, so I hope I'm gonna try and be above board on this whole thing and do it the right way. But I don't know. Sometimes I have bad luck when I've been away for a while. My driving isn't the best. There's a hotel here. I don't know if I should show map. Show map. Showing map. No, I don't need to sleep yet. I think I can make it. A, I don't know my way out of town. I could stay. Problem is going to be staying with the articulated trailer. I'm going to need to unhitch to park. I think basically. There's the repair shop. I don't even know how you get in there. Speed limit here. All 30. Close panel. Turning info panel off. The Red Wolf Hotel and Casino. There's lamps. What's that say? It's a a Big Hoof Casino Resort. Fluffy Razors live tonight. The Fluffy Razors. <laughs> the heck. So we're leaving Las Vegas. Light's so bright. Blackjack on a Saturday night. Um, so see, they had E3 this last weekend. Pete, if you're watching, call. Oh no, you're not watching. Because I'm recording and uploading this, so never mind. Well, Pete, if you see me on. Steam call. Got it. Oh, they're supposed to have 
darn it you know i gotta go into my settings here that's right because one of the new settings is that you can set a voice for your gps and that was going to be key because i wanted to alert me vocally when i'm coming up to my turns because if there's one thing i do on occasion it's miss a turn because i'm talking or not paying attention i'll do that before i get on the highway here and i'll take a look at the map to see my next opportunity for sleep i'm gonna need to sleep at a truck stop with this the size of the stuff i'm carrying here there's us going west looks like an old hotel there Opa, we're heading out this way towards Tonopa. I'm gonna do this though. As long as I'm right here. I'm gonna go here, check out this map, and then I'm gonna go to my settings. Okay, so there's a looks like a, a stop up here. Where's the next one? There's another one down here, but this is probably just a regular I don't mind I could do like a like a dirt pull off kind of a thing. Other than that, we really, there is nothing for a very long way. So I'm going to want to, when I turn on a 95, I'm going to pass the next one and then sleep at that, that one right after it. I think that's probably an overnight spot. And then go the next. Now i got to go to my settings. Hold on a second here. And take a look. I'm sorry, really quick. Go to my options. I should have this, let's see, is it audio? Voice navigation. Enable voice navigation. Nice. Language or English. Doug US. I guess we'll just start with Doug US. <coughs> Time to hit the road. Thanks, Doug. Speed warning. I uh, was until that gets until that gets uh to where we don't we don't like it all right very nice very nice because i do i do want that let's do this <coughs> doug's gonna be talking let's do this turn left kind of already did doug i guess i could i have to be maybe adjust the level of doug there i usually don't have this kind of traffic Oh. Thanks, lady. Stopping on the freeway. Where the truck at? I'm appreciative, but that's just weird behavior. Alright, leaving Las Vegas. As the sun's going down, 84 degrees out. Was it a Tuesday night? I'm going to pass the first overnight stop and then stay at the second one. And that's 65. Yeah, i got to check and see how loud Doug's going to be here. What am I going here? I'm going 50? ways before I'm going 65 yeah so e3 um, I haven't yet seen max review on it <clears throat> max done looks like max done some reviews he went to he's you know the worth a buy guy um, this reviews there he's not a big fan I don't think so I'm Go I am, straight I'm interested to see what he thinks of it what his critiques are um, I did see the announcement for Microsoft Flight Simulator coming up with their next one, which is really cool because I've been on Flight Simulator for a long time. Uh, but it's been a long time since I have. I kind of got off it because, it, whoa. Oh, hold on. I didn't have my lights on. Um, <clears throat> you know, because Flight Simulator X has been out so long ago it doesn't even look there. I was thinking of getting uh, X-Plane 11 and I'm still considering it but now that I see Flight Simulator is coming out with a new one and next year I may get that. I mean it looks great. The only thing that that has put me off a little bit 
because I heard something about being available on Microsoft Game Pass. And if you're required to get a subscription to play it, that's just not going to happen. I don't... I buy a game and then it's mine. I don't want to keep paying to have to play a game that I bought. It's utterly ridiculous. I don't know why people do that. I don't know why they do that on the console. To play multiplayer on the console, you have to keep paying a monthly subs or, you know, a subscription to Xbox Gold. I don't know why people do that. That's just ridiculous. Um, I get DLC. Right? I get, okay, here's the game, and you can have a lot of fun with this game, and you can pay a little bit extra for, for this, make it even better. Because then you can say, yeah, you know, that would be cool, but you know what? I'm fine with the base level stuff. You can still experience the game world and, and you know, and have fun that way. But you decide, okay, however, however, you know, all the stuff I need to have or don't need to have, you know, you can figure out what you're willing to pay. I, I recognize that and appreciate that as far as the way that they can make more money and stuff. But simply paying a subscription to be able to access the game after having bought the game, I think dumb people do dumb things. That's my opinion. Speed limit 80. And these guys are going 50. I understand there's a police car right there, but... Like, can't you get pulled over for going 30 under? Isn't that... a bit much? Alright, so my next... let's see here. Show map. Show map. Showing map. What the sign says there. Um, yeah, I'm going to be needing some sleep, so this would be a good spot to pull over at this next one. Close panel. Turning info panel off. And then I'll, uh, and then I'm going to turn Doug down just a little bit. do that. There we go. Even that's just a little close. But here's where we are, kind of rumbling down the road in this big big old baby 40,000 pound rig. So far, so good. Knock on plastic. This is a plastic wheel. Um, no issues. It has been a while. New speed ahead. 50? I'm not even there. I actually have to speed up to go 50. Okay, we're coming into town now, which is where we're going to stop. And then I'm going to... I am going to... Oh, now it's 30 here. City limit. 80. Oh, there's my... My audible notification. That is, I do like that, though. See, because that's... It's, it's realistic. It's what you'd expect. You'd expect some sort of a... Something to let you know I'm going over the published speed limit. And then, you know, if I have turns coming up, it's going to let me know that as well. There's a diner. That's where I'm having breakfast. Because I'm spending the night here in BD. A lot of glow to the lights. I wonder... Get ready to turn right. Um, if I change something in my settings. I don't know if I did turn something right. that had uh, anti-aliasing or something like that. Folks hanging out on a Tuesday night here, milling around, near to wells. All right, nobody coming that way. What about this way? Because I need to come wide. Look out! Look out! Look out! I hope my trailer didn't hit anything. All right, so I'm gonna pull off right past the motel there, and that's where we're gonna be staying the night. I'll raise for dinner and then I'll go to that other place for, for breakfast. I 
right, it's off here to the right. I think it's just a like a dirt pullover. Yeah, right? Sorry. These guys are lined up next to each other. Yeah, I'm just going to stop right here. You know? I think this is going to be where it's going to happen. Right, we'll see here. Right, let me step outside and see what this looks like here. This is where we're at. Yeah, we'll just spend the night here. Oops. Okay. All right. And this is where we will be tonight, right across from the hotel. So go in there and sleep. Actually, we'll be in that hotel. All right. 8:23 a.m. Not too early of a rise. Not too too late of a rise either. Back in our truck, and. Uh, Gonna head north out of Beatty. Beatty, baby. This thing on. We got a good ways to go here. All right. Take it out of park. Throw it in gear. Good night's sleep, shower, breakfast. Here's some lumber trucks. I don't know if they're where they're going or coming from. good for gas for a little while although I do need to get fuel close panel turning info panel off oh, close panel turning info panel off that wasn't what I said I had north of close panel close panel turning info panel off yeah that's what you said the first two times alright leaving BD Gulch there. Alright, already 84 degrees and it's not even 9 o'clock a.m. yet. So the load back there pretty good. Alright, off we go. Speed limit 70 here. Officer. So anyway, yeah, I will get Microsoft Flight Simulator on day one. Like, I'd pay 50 bucks for it when it comes out, if it's not a subscription. If it's a subscription, I won't pay a penny for it. I'll just get X-Plane 11. Because right now I've got so much stuff going on anyway. I mean, those flight simulators, those really, really grab your time. I mean, if you want to spend hours... Feel like you haven't accomplished anything. Flight simulator is a great way to do it. Then again, I've always wanted to fly, and I don't really have the time or the money. Well, I don't have the money, and I generally, generally tend to stay away from hobbies that, where if I make a mistake, it could kill me or somebody else. So, it's that. It's really kind of the next best thing. I don't know if I'm gonna go like 60 maybe. I got traffic behind me. I don't want to be going slow. I'll go just over 60. Oh, I meant to turn Doug down. Alright, so fuel. What I got? third of a tank right now. 89 degrees. It's almost up to 90 now. It's 9.35 a.m. I think, I think this will work, but show maintenance detail. 
show maintenance detail. Show maintenance. Showing maintenance detail. That's not. It's not going to work. Oh, but it did something to my my vision here. Show maintenance. Showing maintenance detail. I think it changed my my ability to pan around. Okay, all right. I'm going 35. It's not that big a deal. Oh, there's even a, a little speed thing to tell you your speed. That's pretty cool. Oh, because it's a trap. Oh, are we in Tonopa? Is this the Tonopa trap? All right, next chance I see fuel. A little hot dog stand there. I saw, I've seen a couple things draw in a little bit later than I would expect. I don't know if maybe it's been a while since I played. My graphics aren't optimized. So it's it's taking all things a little bit longer to for it to pull the resources in. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing or not. <coughs> yeah, this is gonna be a long a long haul. So after this one, I think the next one in the rotation is Dirt 3. So more driving, but just much higher speed, more competitive. I might do that one on Facebook. I did, I did one um, on the Ghost Recon Wildlands on Facebook, just to put it out there in front of a different group of friends who might want to take a look at it. And I've got the YouTube channel, obviously, but I don't know if every one of my friends is seeing it or not. I think the wife is home. What's the speed on here? 70? It's not going to happen. I, I, I really am standing on my gas. Cars. I'm going to need fuel in a little while here. Some new roads up up north too. I think in Oregon and California, but we're not going to be in California at all. We're going straight from from uh, Nevada up in Oregon. So Taking these turns at a good speed, not too fast. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was a little quick. These mountains look nice in the distance. The draw distance, and it's slightly blurry. You know what I mean? Until you get closer. I wonder if they changed something about that. Where it's just slightly out of focus. Oh my gosh! That was quite a. Quite a deal, officer. My problem is I can see the like the cars drawing in. I don't know what that is up there. Like I saw that police car. I don't want to be seeing that sort of stuff. Drink Tonopo. Oh, here's Tonopo. Well, I don't know what that was back there then. Manual adjustment of your navigation is strongly recommended. Uh oh, okay. Well, Unexpected thing on my route. Well, let's pull up the, the map then. If Stay we... right. All right. Hold on, Dougie. Oh, slow down, slow down. Oh, I see. Wait, so there's this thing going on here. Okay, so. Hello? Hold on. So the problem is here? 
How does it not show me what this unexpected thing is? And how do I manually adjust this? Okay, I gotta go from Tanope up to Pendleton. Maybe I go this way. And change that out. We're gonna go up this way. We're gonna go past Carson City, like you'll go to Burns and all that stuff. That's gonna take some more time, but that's gonna be the way we're gonna go. Yeah. Drive safe. All right. So I want to go around this because this is obviously this is obviously the thing they were talking about. Oh yeah, that's they closed the whole stinking road. Oh yeah, that's an unexpected thing on the road, I'd say. The truck turns south. How does it turn that way? Right, like how does it tip to the right? All right, this is gonna add some time on, but we gotta get some fuel up here. Oh, but wait, here's fuel on the left. Oh, there's another fuel up ahead. All right, so we're going. oh really? I guess the speed is. I'm gonna set her there though. Even though it's 25, I'm gonna go closer to 30. I don't think anybody's gonna pull us over for going 30 and a 25. We'll see. We're gonna drive right past the police. Is that City Hall there? That's my loan payment. That is not a ticket. It's important to know. We are rolling through Tanopa here. Take screenshot. Take screenshot. Take picture. Whatever. I don't, I don't know if it's not doing that because something's reset. Alright, I'm gonna pull over for gas. So I've been to this this gas station up here. Don't worry. Now, I don't know how easy or how difficult it's going to be to get fuel with an articulated trailer. But we're going to try. Hey, okay, we're going to do this. I'm going to drive up on the curb like that. There we go. Alright, here we are. Put it in park. Step out. There we go. Drop my trailer there. Pull around. Fuel up. Rerouting. It's rerouting, isn't it? Dougie. Dew glass. I kind of like a lady talking. I think that's what I'm used to hearing. Maybe I'll try that. Okay. clouds moving. They didn't have that before and I'm guessing it would be pretty darn windy if they're moving that quickly. What's this guy coming in here for? Is he hitting my trailer? What? This guy's running into my trailer. He's literally smashing into my trailer. Are you kidding me? Dude, is this how he gets on? He's pulling in here like this? You gotta be kidding me. Come on, buddy, move. 
Unbelievable. All right, while he's doing that, we got to go in here and audio. Where is this thing? Doug US? Is there a English Sky? There we go. At the roundabout, take the fifth exit. All right, where's voice navigation volume? There we go. At the roundabout, take the fifth exit. Exit right. There we go. Okay. We'll go right there. All right, that's pretty good. This, though, this could be a problem. I didn't think I was going to get traffic coming in here and smashing into my stinking trailer. What are the odds? Did I push him? Truck's gonna try and come in here when I. Come on, buddy. He keeps scraping, which is why he's not doing it. He's almost there. Come on, buddy. Come on, a little further. This is not good. I obviously wasn't aware of the... There he goes. Hold on, pal. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to park here. So give me a break. Thanks. Yeah, I think I'm used to hearing a lady's voice for my GPS. All right, heading out on the 95th. Jeez, let's see. Show map. Show map. Showing map. All right, heading west out of Tonopah. 12:43 p.m. Tuesday. Um, ETA Wednesday for it. It's going to be more like Thursday because we're going to end up spending the night again. Ooh. Gosh. Is this being there? 70? Okay. Um, Get ready to turn left. Really? Oh, I see. Close panel. Turn left. Turning info panel off. that turn a little quick. Oh, show waybill. Show waybill. Showing current job information. They need this by when? Wednesday, 7.59 p.m. They need it tomorrow night. We can only spend it one more night. That is not good. Uh, we're going to be getting cut it close. Close panel. Turning info panel off. Because I think this route takes us a little. Because it's thinking Wednesday. F show map. Showing map. I, yeah, it's thinking Wednesday 404. 
If we didn't stop anymore, I think. That's what it's thinking. I think we're going to be late. What is it? 404? Show waybill. Show waybill. Showing current job information. Was I sitting to eat? So yeah, we've got four extra hours to play with. I think we're going to be late. Because we're going to need to spend the night again. Because I think it's if we don't stop, we'll get there in 26 hours. Oh my gosh. Alright, close panel. Close panel. Turning info panel off. Well, I think we'd have to blame it again on that, uh, that accident. The problem is, this would be the second one in a row that we were late on. And we took it thinking we get all this money and we end up getting thousands of dollars less. Welcome to California. So I guess we do cross in there. Yeah, that's right, because my our revised route crosses into California. Obviously now we're in Eastern California. But I'm now that I'm thinking about this, hold on a second here. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay, we are still on the same route here. Unless, I wonder if we can go... Is it... I don't know, I'm thinking is... It, oh. We're not going to cut any time off if we go this way. It's gonna. This is going to be the best way to go still, through Lakeview. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> Get ready to turn right. All right, getting ready. Slowing us forty thousand pounds of furniture down here. Turn right. I head north on the three fifty-five, three thirty-five. I don't have to worry too much about the lane there. I can get out here. Had to come across a little. There's a rest stop area, right? Yeah. 395, heading north on 395. Okay, I'm gonna drink some water, hold on. Ninety-eight degrees out. Two oh eight PM. So yeah, we plan wasn't we weren't gonna go into California. But Turned over truck tends to change plans. Haven't been able to set a cruise control because I've been such a windy road. I'm gonna set it now though. Oops, wrong button. Alright, well, turn my lights on instead. <clears throat> Real smart. Cactus. So yeah, we're heading southwest, I think, um, for real this summer. Taking two weeks off of work, which will be nice. And hitting the highway. Well, I think we're flying out and then possibly driving between Vegas and a couple other places. But we'll see. Good on the dash there. Plenty of fuel, looking at my fuel gauge. Pressure gauge is good.
right, and then continue straight on. I think I'm going to need to cut it short soon. i got to check and see what this Go noise, straight on. noise may have been. I've turned off there before. I think I've ever been on this stretch. Next town I get to, I'm going to cut this one short, finish it up on the next one. I have to go check, see what some noises were. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow, I'm all crossing over the lane there. That was not good. That was embarrassing. Speed really hit the brakes there, didn't it? Speed limit 70. I'm out of here. I'm out of town. This is supposed to be Carson City ahead. Is this Lake, uh, what is this? Whatever lake this is. Not Lake Mead, is it? Oh my gosh. Wow, this is this windy road. The speed limit here is 70. It's kind of neat looking though, huh? It's cool. No, that's right, because I'm not even like, going to be like being in California. Next town I go through, I gotta call it quits. Turn the cruise off because we're twisting. Keep right. And every time I get up near the speed limit and get my cruise set, all of a sudden, oh, I gotta slow down. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna hit this guy. How did I not hit this guy? Boy, I came to a quick stop there. I'll keep right. Sorry, sorry, bus is coming through. In the left turn lane, that was a big mistake. That's stupid. Some of those mistakes I shouldn't be making. There's an airplane hangers up there. I'm gonna make it Keep pretty... right and then turn right. Towards Reno. Turn right. I'm gonna come to a stop here and I'm gonna call the I'm gonna call the broadcast, alright? And I'll follow it up next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.